it can be quite confusing when you're first introduced to my portfolio. So this video will just take you through the three main areas, which are content, portfolio and groups. Starting with content, this area is completely private to the user. You need a username and password just to get access to it. And you can't actually share anything directly from the content area. It contains uh, your journals, and this is a place where you reflect on your practice. It's a place to store content, which can be files of all sorts of types, uh, documents, uh, pictures, for example. It's a place to organize yourself where you can make plans, keep track of your professional development, uh, and a place to organize your resume. The portfolio is where you make sense of your content and you'll see more of this in the next slide. You build your portfolio one page or view at a time and in this area you can share with others and this can be with individuals uh, or groups of people. Right? Groups themselves are useful. Uh, you can have a staff group, you can have a professional development group, you can have a classroom group and the purposes uh, are many and varied but it's a place to learn with others, collaborate, communicate, share. Right, it's also a place to find help or answers to questions that you may have. Right, In this example Marama has created a portfolio page about her appraisal and she has a goal on it and she's taken some artifacts or evidence from the content area and put them onto her page to explain how she's met that goal. She has then shared that page with a colleague and that colleague has given her some feedback. Alright, those are the basics. That is pretty much how my portfolio works.